So I'm going to be talking today about um, something we're doing to really change the way that agents communicate out to customers in self-service channels. And uh, what we're calling that is the community case feed. And what the community case feed is, is really taking this collaboration platform we have throughout Salesforce, mm -hmm. which is Chatter. Um, we saw a lot of the great things that we're doing for agents around the case feed in Clement's section. Mm -hmm. um, we want to extend that really so our customers, customers in self-service channels can take advantage of the same feed we have on cases. So moving away from the traditional model where agents had to go outside the case feed, create a separate object, a case comment, um, and then share that out to customers and letting them use the case feed itself to directly communicate out to customers in the community. And there's a number of advantages of moving to this model. The first is that we can now provide customers a complete view of their case history. So they're no longer limited to just some plain text snippets that are passed to them through the agent. Mm -hmm. They can see everything that's happening, even if it's happening over other channels like email or social channels. We can also simplify the agent experience um, because in the past, rather than using the same feed they used to inta collaborate internally to mm -hmm. communicate outward, they had to go again to case comments outside of the case feed and use those to, to collaborate with customers. And lastly, we can take advantage of the platform capabilities of Chatter to really enhance that um, collaboration experience on the case. So using things like at mentions, inline images, links, all of these capabilities we haven't had in the past. So when we look at the bucket of functionality we're introducing for this in summer 15, uh, we can really put it into two buckets. The first is the agent side changes. Um, and the other is the community or customer facing side changes. So on the agent side, um, we've added a number of things. One is a new action to change uh, the visibility of a chatter post on a case to determine whether it should be externally visible or internal only. Uh, the other one, as Clement mentioned, is a new indication on the feed items to say mm -hmm. which are external and which are internal. So you can quickly scan the feed and tell what the customer can see. Yeah. Um, and then the last is the ability to use our community publisher now to actually post a feed item back to the case rather than a case comment. On the customer side, we, we added a number of things. So we added now the ability to use comments, files, and images on the feed on the case. Um, we're also letting customers view all the activity on the case. So things like emails and social posts, which in the past were only visible to agents internally, are now going to be visible to customers selectively, mm -hmm. depending on which ones you want them to see. So with that, I'm going to switch over to my phone. And I'm going to show you a quick demo of how this works. So I'm a customer mark here in our uh, community template. And I have a question about a shipment um, from this company, NTO, that I received that was damaged. So I can come to the community. I can view articles. I can ask questions. But in this case, I need support on an order. So I'm going to go ahead and submit a case directly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to say contact support. And I'm going to pick my reason here. So I have an order question on a damaged uh, shipment. And I'll go ahead and add some description. And when I hit next, I can see again, I'm being suggested articles. Just in case there's some articles that help me, I want to kind of give the customer the option to see that. But in this case, I need an agent's help. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to submit that case. And so as that case is submitting, I'm going to switch back to my computer here. And I'm going to show you what the agent sees as that case comes in. So I'm looking at the beautiful new list view that Clement introduced, so a much cleaner way to see the activity, but not as good as Omni, obviously. I wish I was being pushed this case. <laughs> we could make that happen. Yeah. Um, so here's my new case from Mark here in the community about his damaged shipment. I'm going to open that up. And you'll see we're in our console here. We have our case details, uh, the knowledge component, some other components to give us context on Mark. Um, and right here in the center, we have our case feed. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually, I want to get some help from someone internally on this because we're having a lot of damaged shipments recently. Um, and we should, we should check out what's going on. If we have a problem in operations, so I'm going to mention our operations man manager, Brandon, and ask him to, to look into what's happening mm -hmm. with all our shipments. Um, so I post that to the case to collaborate with him. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to 
send an email out to our, to our shipping company. And to do that, I'm actually going to use a macro. So like Clement said, the power of macros is that now something that would have required 10 steps for me to pick a template, set two addresses, mm -hmm. set all these things, I can do in one click. So we have a lot of damaged shipments, so I have a macro just for this case where I can say, let's send an email to the shipper to go pick up the damaged package, mm -hmm. and then we'll take care of the customer to make sure they get a new, a new product. So when I execute that macro, you can see I've set the template with all the relevant information in here. I've set the address to the shipping company, and I've even CC'd the contact on the case, our customer, Mark, so he has visibility to what's happening here. Mm -hmm. And I'll go ahead and I'll send that email. And the last thing I want to do is I want to let the customer know, now he's got an email um, that he's copied on to the shipping company about them picking up the package. Mm -hmm. I want to let him know we're going to get him a new one ASAP. We're going to send him out a new, a new product. So I go to the community publisher. And with our community publisher, I can, again, I can post out to the customer in the self-service channel through our chatter feed items. So I'm going to go ahead and post him a message about the new product we're going to send him and ask him if he can upload a picture for us just so we can have uh, some data on the case about wh what kind of damage mm -hmm. he saw on the shipment. So when I post that, I'm going to pause here for a minute, and I'm just going to point some things out. So you see in the case here, I have a, I have a number of feed items, and you'll notice that some of them have this orange background and this icon near the top here, and others, like this feed item here, just have the normal white background. And so the orange background is what tells us that these feed items are external. So our customer, Mark, can see these if he logs into his case. We've also added the ability to actually change that. So if you, for example, posted something to the customer that uh, you realized after the fact, oh, I didn't mean to send that. I meant to, you know, that should have been internal. I want to I want to hide that from the customer and maybe edit it and repost it. You can actually go to your menu here and you can say make private. When you go ahead and make private, it's going to change the visibility. Mm -hmm. And you'll see the background changes. It's now white. It's not visible to the customer. And maybe you can also use the new editing feed items here if you want to make a quick edit and then change it back to a public, publicly visible, meaning visible to mark our contact on the case. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and change that back to public. OK, so now I've set up the case. Um, I'm going to switch back into the customer view. Back to mobile? Back to mobile. So the customer is on his phone here. Um, he's logged into the community. As the logged in user, he can see all his cases and his activity. So we've actually clicked in here to the case um, we just submitted on this damaged shipment. So at the top, we have the details for the case. We have a publisher. And then down here, we have the actual case feed. So we have the feed. Um, for the customer, he can see the message the agent just sent him. Mm -hmm. uh, he can also now see the email. So again, this is brand Beautiful. new. In the past, customers couldn't see this activity. So if he wanted to see that email that was sent to him on the case, mm -hmm. he'd have to go into his Gmail, search for the email, find it, get the information from there. But now we have it right all in line in the case feed and visible to the cool. customer. Very nice. So we're asking Mark to post a picture. So he's going to go ahead and grab a picture from his phone. <laughs> um, here's the damaged shipment, so we'll go ahead and upload that. And when we post that, you'll see that I have to refresh here just real quick. but. You'll see once, sometimes there's a delay depending on the image size, mm -hmm. but we actually now have these images that are posted right here in line on the case. Uh, so again, in the past, if you were doing this um, with the case comment model, uh, you would post this mm -hmm. um, comment with an attachment, and they would go to two separate related mm -hmm. lists, basically. Yeah. One's a comment, and the other one's a file, so they get split up. Right now, with the, with the chatter feed, we get that content right there in line. We also have the collaboration tools like commenting, app mentioning, liking mm -hmm. these posts. So all that's available to really improve uh, the experience for the customer as they work through these cases. Cool. Very nice. So with that, I'm going to switch back to slides. And I'm just going to, I want to mention just a few other things. So this is just the community case feed is one part of what we're delivering for self-service communities in mm -hmm. summer. There's actually a whole another set of functionality that's coming, way too much to cover in this section. 
Um, those of you who watched earlier the release readiness live for the community cloud probably saw some of that functionality. If you didn't, I'd encourage you to go back and watch the recording uh, where you can see a lot of the new capabilities for communities in the summer release. And in terms of what's coming down the road in winter 16 and beyond, uh, we're focused on a few things. Probably the number one area we're focused on right now is making the community templates, which you saw, which Mark was working in here, making those a lot more flexible and customizable for customers. Uh, so we're going to be bringing some things like drag and drop capabilities in the community builder, the ability to view and uh, create and edit views for those community templates. So they're going to be a lot more customizable for your needs. Uh, we're also working on search improvements, um, some multilingual support, uh, and better knowledge article support. So both better ability to set up knowledge articles mm -hmm. for your communities, as well as the ability to give feedback on knowledge articles and communities through rating of articles. Mm. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think, I think you just showed all of our customers you know, a lot of improvements that are going to enhance productivity. I think it would be counterproductive if we didn't at least check in with Elna and find out <laughs> what exactly our customers are asking. Hey, Elna. Hey, I have just one quick question for you from Dan. How do customers know about a feed comment when it's posted? Do they get an email, or how are they notified? Yeah, so we have now, this is another new feature, which I didn't have time to cover, but we introduced in summer, is the ability to actually have automatic notification emails sent when a new uh, feed item is posted. Um, and those, those emails are replyable, so the customer doesn't even have to log back into the community. They can reply directly to that email, and it'll get posted to the case. Um, so you can use that out-of-the-box functionality. Uh, and if you want, you can also build your own custom email notifications so that customers get notified when there's a new post on the case. Mm -hmm.